Elephants have earned a crazy reputation for being able to remember places, migratory patterns, and voice differences. In fact, there's some evidence to show they can even hold a grudge. But is it true that they really never forget? Elephants have arguably one of the most intelligent brains in the animal kingdom. Scientists often place them up there with dolphins and even apes. Even though we think of elephants as just one animal, there are actually three distinct living species of elephant, two in Africa and one in Asia. Each species have different advantages and disadvantages, but for this piece, we're going to try and keep it simple. On average, elephant brains are three times the size of human brains. Like us, they have complex neural networks and actually more neurons than humans do. 257 billion to our mere 86 billion. Although size alone doesn't actually predict intelligence or memory, because it depends on where in the brain the neurons are, in the case of elephants, almost 98% of their neurons are in their cerebellum. This region sits in the back of the brain and is thought to be linked to motor skills and sensory input, meaning it's in charge of handling all the massiveness that is an elephant. Which makes sense. Their trunks alone have over 100,000 bundles of muscle fibers, and I can't even imagine controlling something like that. A larger animal often requires a larger brain. There's more skin, there's more muscle, more of everything. Outside of their impressive cerebellum, though, elephants actually don't have a very robust cerebral cortex, which is an area of the brain often linked to higher intelligence. But some have the ability to problem solve with tools, and still others have been observed to recognize friends, family, food routes, and enemies. And Asian elephants specifically have been known to exhibit self-awareness when looking in mirrors, which is huge. In fact, both African and Indian elephants have a unique set of neurons called VENs that are believed to mediate social empathic behaviors, and humans also have these. But even though elephants are incredible animals, a human brain is far more densely populated with neural networks. It's possible, though, that we can't use our models for elephants. They could represent a completely different type of cognitive structure. Scientists speculate the elephant brain favors widespread interconnectivity of distant regions rather than the proximity of clustered ones. Their neurons are just farther apart than ours. So even though we understand a lot about the structure of elephant brains, we still haven't grasped their long-term memory. But we know that they have it because we've observed their behavior. Some elephants travel in packs as small as eight or as large as 100 individuals. And the experiences of a herd make them wiser. And that wisdom is then passed on to younger generations. Herds are made up of a matriarchy, meaning the group is led by female elephants, usually the eldest. And since elephants can reach the age of 60 or 80 years old, that's a lot of years of information that can come in handy. For example, in 1993, Tanzania had one of the worst droughts in their recent history. Places where water was normally abundant dried up, and groups with older females who'd lived through previous droughts moved to locations where there was a greater chance of finding water, while those headed by younger matriarchs, they stayed behind. The younger herds lost more calves within nine months than elder groups. But the memory of droughts isn't the only thing. Elephants can also remember friends and foes. Another study was conducted where elephants listened to recordings of men from the Maasai, which are a group that has been known to kill elephants to protect their grazing land. They also listened to recordings from the Kamba tribe, who don't bother elephants that much at all. Even though both tribes repeated the same phrase in the recordings, a majority of the elephants acted much more defensively when the Maasai recording was played. So, a herd with a matriarch that has experience with the Maasai might turn her herd away if she recognizes their language, which could ultimately save her herd from harm. In the end, we understand more about elephants and their long memories than we did a decade ago. But even with regard to how they can remember things, like waterhole locations or voices from their youth, we're still working on that. More research is, of course, needed. They are clearly wise creatures, and hopefully one day we'll better understand what goes on in that massive brain of theirs. You probably love elephants if you are still watching this, so you'll love this special episode of Dodo Heroes. This family rehabilitates and rewilds elephants, saved from Thailand's tourism industry. Tune in at 9, 8 central on Animal Planet, or stream all the episodes on Animal Planet Go. Don't forget to look out for hashtag Dodo Heroes. For more animal science in your day, you should follow us on Twitter. We're at Seeker, I'm there too, at Trace Dominguez. One last Ella fact before you go, though. Elephants have very poor eyesight. They primarily rely on odor to learn about one another and the world around them. They can even smell water from several miles away. Thanks for watching, everybody.